Okay, for those of you who have the stomach for watching a, a flight simulator, uh, we're gonna uh, run a quick uh, flight with the simulator here from Google Earth, starting here at about uh, 13,000 feet. And we're gonna pull over here and you'll see the switchbacks that go up to Waltz Point. And then we'll just fly through the, the same path that we're gonna be walking on. But we'll do the bird's eye view uh, this way uh, with an airplane. You can kind of see the elevation on the right hand side. I can't move my mouse or it'll make the plane go crazy. Uh, but uh, the numbers on the right hand side show uh, what the vertical speed is and it also shows uh, what the altitude is. On the left hand side you see the speed right now about 175 knots and heading due west up the canyon here. This is Waltz Point uh, right, right over right there. Made it a little go a little bit crazy. Um, I used to uh, jump off of the hang glider right there. Uh, we'd fly out over that canyon and fly all the way up the Owens Valley. So we'll take our cars um, back here. The, the end of that red line is uh, the start. That's uh, Horseshoe Meadows. And let me get up here. We'll start to gain altitude here. This is uh, about 10,900 feet. We'll camp there that first night at about uh, 10,000 feet is the elevation of Horseshoe Meadows. But I want to gain a little bit of altitude here, so we'll put a little bit of flaps on and we'll slow down a little bit and see if we can't gain some altitude here. Up 11,500 feet as we come around this corner here. This is, uh, as I, sh I said earlier in the uh, another video, this is the Cottonwood Trail going up to uh, Cottonwood Lakes. We'll do some fly fishing um, up in here on our first hiking day. Actually, we'll have a chance to fly fish uh, almost every day if we really want to at all the different lakes that we're going to go to. We'll keep climbing here just to make make us get some altitude. So in this miter basin, very beautiful area um, up and through here. Uh, fantastic fly fishing according to Kevin Bocut. Beautiful lakes up in here. Down at the bottom left, you can see, beginning to see uh, Cottonwood Lake number one as uh, the first one at the bend, and then two, and then five is up at up and to the right, and four is up and to the left where the red line is, uh, and that's where we'll be camping uh, the first night. Trying to gain some altitude here so we can get up and see Mount Langley over to the right here. That's 14,000 feet, so you'll see if we don't get enough altitude, we'll crash into the mountain. So we're going to try to do that. We'll quickly look back down here at number four uh, on the left where the red line goes up and army pass to the, to the extreme left of the screen. And then for uh, everyone that's feeling up to it, uh, we'll head on up to the peak of Mount Langley, uh, 14,042 feet. It'll be our first 14er of the three that we could uh, do on this trip. Mount Langley, Mount Murr, and uh, Mount uh, Whitney, 14,505 feet. So we're just about getting up to 14,000 feet. You can see Mount Whitney with the red lines in the background just kind of coming into view here. Now, if we don't get up to 
14,000 feet, we'll have to go around the mountain, but I think we're just going to make it as we get up here. And then once we get up uh, to the top here, like you can see here, there will be a view of uh, Mount Whitney. Uh, and then we'll just kind of scurry back down. This is a use trail. It's not really a, uh, a heavily trafficked trail. So there we go, right, right at 14,000 feet. So we'll, we'll curve around this and then head back down to the Army Pass. Here, so this is shooting back down the, the trail that will come up. And this is, uh, again, Cottonwood number four, and then Army Pass to the right, and we'll head down um, this gully here, or this uh, canyon here, uh, down to the bottom, where we're gonna be camping that first night at uh, Soldier Lake. And that's at the bottom down here. And we'll, we'll make a turn there. You can see, you'll see the, the lake down there as we come around here, kind of the steep bank. There's the Soldier Lake. And then the next day we'll head on up to past Blue Sky Lake uh, and then so some numbered lake up at the end. Again, we're gonna to have to climb here so I don't crash into the mountains. So we're at 13,000 feet, that should make it. I wanna to get to about 13,500 by the time we get up there. And we'll fly along the, the back side of the crest on up to Mount Whitney. So this will be our one, two, this will be our third night camping up at this elevation. I think that gives us the best uh, chance for everyone to make it to the top of Whitney. Uh, and we'll have to go at the bottom right of the screen right now, we'll go up past Crabtree Pass about 13 or about 2,600 or 12,600 feet around the Cirque and then scurry up the, the backside, the shale face of uh, Discovery Pinnacle right there. And, um, then connect up with the Whitney Portal Trail at about 13,500 feet. The switchbacks are coming right up the back side of this, or the front side of the east face of Discovery Pinnacle. We'll come up the south face, uh, meet up with that trail and then follow that up uh, past Mount Murr, which is right, right there. And uh, then once we're here, um, it's, it's going to be work to get up to the top, but I think we're all going to be pretty well acclimated by this point. I think we'll be in pretty good shape. Uh, and I'm just going to fly around Whitney so that you can see the, the easy walk off, uh, Mountaineers route, uh, that we're going to take. That'll be class two, um, climbing or class two, uh, rock climbing, which no ropes, uh, no technical uh, requirement. Just uh, have to pay attention what you're doing. So we'll come around here. So we're at 14,000 feet, so we shouldn't hit anything. So there's the face of Whitney. And then we'll um, go down the notch right there and then pick up the trail down to Iceberg Lake down here and Upper Soldier Lake. Actually, I did this. I got a great video of doing this exact thing in a, in a sailplane coming down through this canyon just like this. There's a spot down at the bottom that you really can't fit through with the trees right there at that notch. You can't fit through uh, without turning the kind of the plane on end. So you have to kind of be really careful when you come through here. And the glider. I'll give a, a link to that video. It's just fantastic coming down right through here. And then we'll end uh, Eberbacher um, 
cliffs or, or ledges and then Whitney portal. And that'll be it. Then we'll go down to the bottom, um, down to Mount Whitney or uh, down to uh, Lone Pine to the uh, showers and take showers, have pizza uh, at the uh, pizza place right across the street from the hotel and then give a drive home. And that's it.